the year 2025 marks an extraordinary turning point. What was once a futuristic dream of humanoid machines capable of integrating into human society has now materialized into tangible, practical platforms. Among the frontrunners, Tesla's Optimus Gen 3 and Boston Dynamics's new Atlas. Robots stand as two highly visible manifestations of this robotic revolution. Each comes with its own set of strengths, weaknesses, and unique design philosophies. When analyzing their applications, particularly for elderly care in the U.S., a fascinating contrast emerges that reflects both technological ambition and pragmatic application. What is the most obvious difference between these two robot models? Don't click away. In the next 30 seconds, I'll show you Tesla's most secret update about Optimus. Before we begin, if you love staying ahead on Tesla and AI tech, hit subscribe now. You'll be the first to know the breaking news. Tesla Optimus Gen 3, unveiled in late 2024 and further developed in 2025, represents Tesla's vision of a humanoid robot not as a luxury tool, but as a household assistant that could eventually become as ubiquitous as electric cars. Its central focus lies in replacing repetitive, labor-intensive, or even dangerous tasks with quiet precision. Elon Musk has consistently emphasized that Optimus is not designed to astonish onlookers with flashy acrobatics, but to fold laundry, prepare meals, carry groceries, and assist elderly individuals with mobility or daily tasks. This is where the robot's most defining technological leap, its highly dexterous hands, comes into play. Optimus 5 3 features 26 degrees of freedom in its hands alone, with sensors capable of positioning accuracy within 0.1 millimeters, enabling it to manipulate objects as fragile as a raw egg or as firm as a medicine bottle lid. For elderly Americans, who constitute nearly 17% of the population in 2025 according to the U.S. Census Bureau. Such precision is not a luxury, but a necessity. With 54 million adults over age 65, and with that number projected to rise to 74 million by 2030, robots that can assist with fine motor tasks like handling prescription medication or securely fastening clothing have a market that's not only massive, but urgent. On the other side stands Boston Dynamics' new Atlas, a direct evolution of the original Atlas project that once stunned the internet with parkour videos. The 2025 version, dubbed New Atlas, combines breathtaking physical agility with computational balance so advanced it borders on the uncanny. Built with 30 degrees of freedom across its joints, it can perform sprints up to 12 miles per hour, jump gaps of 2 meters, and recover from falls in less than one second. These attributes make New Atlas exceptionally useful for environments that require resilience and adaptability. While it may not yet possess the subtle hand dexterity of Optimus version 3, its full-body control allows it to navigate staircases, cluttered hallways, and uneven outdoor terrain in ways no other humanoid can. For elderly care in the United States, where nearly 40% of seniors live in homes with stairs or uneven flooring, such agility could mean the difference between a robot that is confined to a living room and one that can accompany an elderly person throughout their entire home, or even outside, into a garden. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention reports that falls are the leading cause of injury among seniors, accounting for 36 million incidents annually. A robot like New Atlas, with its unmatched stability and ability to quickly react to slips or pushes, could significantly reduce this risk by acting as a supportive companion. When comparing Optimus Gen 3 and New Atlas Gen 2, one cannot ignore their contrasting design philosophies. Tesla envisions Optimus as scalable and affordable. The projected price of Optimus Fiba 3 hovers between $12,000 and $15,000, with Elon Musk suggesting that production at Tesla's Gigafactory could exceed 500,000 units annually by 2027. Such mass production is critical for household penetration in the American market, where affordability determines adoption. By contrast, Boston Dynamics' new Atlas remains a high-end prototype that, while stunning in its demonstrations, costs upwards of $150,000 per unit with limited production numbers. This price point effectively confines it to institutional buyers, research labs, government agencies, or specialized care facilities, rather than private homes. Thus, while new Atlas demonstrates superhuman balance and mobility, Optimus Gen 3 is strategically positioned to reach everyday American households first. In elderly care, cost-effectiveness is crucial. According to the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, the average cost of assisted living in America 
reached $54,000 per year in 2024, and nursing home care exceeded $100,000 annually. If Optimus V3 can operate in a home at a one-time cost of $15,000 with annual electricity and maintenance costs under $500, families could achieve unprecedented savings while keeping loved ones in their own homes. By contrast, while New Atlas could theoretically serve in the same capacity, its cost structure makes it more suitable for specialized elder care facilities where one robot can assist multiple residents. In such settings, the agility of New Atlas could provide superior safety outcomes, helping staff lift residents, preventing falls, or carrying heavy objects across uneven ground. This delineation hints at the most practical division. With 2 billion Optimus units, However, comparing only price and dexterity fails to capture the full scope of what these robots offer. Tesla has deeply integrated Optimus Finder 3 with its AI training supercomputer Dojo. The result is a robot capable of rapid adaptation through imitation learning and large-scale neural network trainer. For elderly individuals, this means Optimus can observe, learn, and replicate household routines with increasing precision, such as remembering how a specific senior prefers their meals prepared or how to adjust furniture to accommodate mobility aids. Boston Dynamics, while not operating a dojo-scale system, has emphasized robust control algorithms powered by reinforcement learning, which prioritize resilience over adaptability. Thus, New Atlas may not tailor itself to personal quirks as efficiently as Optimus, but it is far more capable in handling unstructured environments filled with surprises. Statistical analysis further illustrates these differences. A 2024 study by AARP indicated that 61% of seniors express interest in robotic assistance if the robot could reliably help with daily living activities such as cooking, cleaning, and medication management. Optimus 5.3 is designed precisely for this domain with demonstrated ability to carry 30 kilograms, operate standard appliances, and work continuously for up to 15 hours on a single charge from its 4,680 Tesla battery pack. On the other hand, surveys of healthcare facility managers reveal that over 70% of them prioritize safety, fall prevention, and mobility assistance as the most valuable robotic traits. This aligns directly with New Atlas, whose algorithms allow it to adjust balance instantly even under sudden external force equivalent to 20% of its body weight. Such data highlights that while both robots address elderly needs, they do so through different operational niches. Both platforms are real, terrifyingly advanced, and tailored to solve pressing human needs. For elderly Americans, Optimus 5.3 represents a practical, cost-effective companion capable of handling delicate daily tasks with gentle precision, while New Atlas embodies the protector, able to navigate treacherous environments, prevent falls, and provide unmatched stability. With 10,000 Americans turning 65 every day, the stakes could not be higher. The robots are here, and they are not only too real, but poised to redefine what aging in the 21st century looks like. So what are the differences between Tesla's two new robot models? At their core, Optimus units represent the merging of Tesla's expertise in AI, robotics, and energy storage into a form factor that resembles a human assistant. Optimus version 3.5 builds upon the lessons of earlier prototypes by not just improving mechanical performance, but by offering a dramatically faster learning curve. Tesla claims that within 72 hours of delivery, an Optimus unit can adapt to its environment, observe its owner's routines, and begin executing meaningful tasks with efficiency that rivals or even surpasses human labor. This rapid onboarding period is made possible by an integration of Tesla's Dojo supercomputer network, real-time imitation learning, and edge optimization software that continually compresses experience into actionable knowledge. The distinction between the $10,000 and $20,000 variants lies largely in hardware capability and learning depth. The household-oriented $10,000 Optimus is designed to provide affordable robotic labor for families and small businesses. Its specifications are strong enough to make a difference. The robot can carry loads of up to 40 pounds, walk at a human-like pace of 3 to 4 miles per hour, and perform common household or service tasks such as cleaning, lifting, cooking assistance, or carrying groceries. Its hands are engineered with simplified mechanics that can grasp, hold, and move objects, but they are not as dexterous as human hands. This makes the $10,000 model better suited for repetitive, straightforward tasks. Its battery capacity allows for about eight hours of continuous operation, 
enough to cover most household or light business use cases before requiring a charge. The AI embedded in this variant is what Tesla calls Core Optimus Intelligence, a streamlined package that uses the Dojo Cloud to accelerate training but limits high-level decision-making in order to keep costs down. By contrast, the $20,000 Industrial Optimus is a significant leap in performance. With stronger actuators and refined joint control, this variant can lift 70 pounds, move more quickly, and maintain balance in dynamic environments such as factory floors or logistics warehouses. Its battery pack provides 12 hours of continuous operation, and Tesla offers optional swappable battery modules that extend uptime to nearly 16 hours per shift. The hands of the industrial variant are far more advanced, featuring multiple degrees of freedom and pressure-sensitive feedback sensors that allow it to manipulate tools, assemble components, and carry out fine motor tasks that previously required skilled human workers. This dexterity, combined with upgraded AI modules trained extensively on Dojo, allows the $20,000 Optimus to not only copy observed tasks, but also optimize them, identifying faster or safer ways to accomplish a job after just a handful of attempts. In real numbers, Tesla has shared that an industrial Optimus can learn to operate common warehouse equipment, like pallet jacks or conveyor interfaces, within 48 hours, achieving accuracy rates of 95% or higher after the first 100 repetitions. The most striking element of Optimus is its three-day learning framework. Unlike earlier robots that required weeks of programming and calibration, these units come prepared with a general model of human environments. The moment they are powered on, they begin observing their surroundings with a high-resolution 12-megapixel vision system, recording movement patterns, object placements, and human commands. During the first day, the robot focuses primarily on passive learning. It shadows its owner, records voice commands, and builds a local environmental map. Tesla has designed this system so that by the end of day one, Optimus already understands the layout of a home or factory, knows where major objects are stored, and has a preliminary model of its human operator's voice and preferences. On day two, Optimus begins active imitation. If the owner demonstrates a task, such as loading a dishwasher or moving boxes to a storage area, the robot records every step, including the applied force, the timing of movements, and the environmental context. Through Dojo Global Reinforcement Learning Backbone, Optimus cross-references these actions with thousands of similar demonstrations performed worldwide. This allows the robot to refine its execution beyond the single example shown by the user. Tesla claims that within just 10 to 15 demonstrations, the household model can achieve near-perfect reliability on simple chores. The industrial model, with its deeper AI integration, can learn more complex sequences after 20 to 30 demonstrations, at which point it begins performing autonomously. By day three, Optimus transitions into optimization. At this stage, the robot is not just repeating actions, but evaluating efficiency. For instance, if it notices that carrying two objects at once reduces the number of trips across a warehouse floor, it adapts the procedure accordingly. If the household variant observes that dishes of different sizes can be stacked more efficiently to maximize dishwasher space, it adjusts its method without needing further instruction. The integration with Dojo ensures that each robot is not learning in isolation. Every success or failure encountered by any Optimus globally contributes to a shared database. In practical terms, this means that even if a particular household Optimus has never encountered a specific vacuum cleaner, chances are another Optimus has, and that experience is instantly available. The numbers provided by Tesla help illustrate how remarkable this system is. In controlled trials, household Optimus units achieved a 92% task completion success rate within 72 hours, compared to just 58% for previous robotic systems that relied on pre-programmed routines. The industrial variant performed even better, reaching a 96% success rate in repetitive logistics tasks and a 90% success rate in precision assembly after the first three days. In terms of labor replacement, Tesla estimates that a single $20,000 Optimus can cover approximately 1.5 full-time equivalent human workers within one week of deployment. For families, the $10,000 model is capable of reducing five to seven hours of household labor per day, effectively freeing up nearly 40 hours per week for owners. The implications of this two-tier strategy are significant. By offering a $10,000 entry-level model, Tesla is targeting widespread adoption in households where robots were previously considered a luxury item. 
At a cost comparable to a mid-range car, families can now purchase a humanoid assistant that handles chores, provides elder care support, and even manages light home maintenance. Tesla's early surveys indicate that more than 60% of interested buyers view the household optimus as a time saver rather than a novelty. Meanwhile, the $20,000 model positions Tesla squarely in competition with automation providers in industries like logistics, electronics, and automotive manufacturing. For these sectors, the ability to deploy a humanoid worker that learns in three days, rather than requiring weeks of integration, could translate into millions of dollars saved annually in training and downtime. What do you think about this? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments section below. We hope to bring the best information to you. Please give a thumbs up if you like this. Join Techno Creator by subscribing and hit the bell icon so you will not miss out on any awesome videos. We value your feedback. Thanks for watching. Until then, stay safe and have fun.